Ghost of Tabor has a full countdown when they're coming to the MetaQuest store, which is insanely fun knowing that they win VR Game of the Year with, that, with just being in a beta, which really entails like that current state of VR totality. I jumped into Ghost of Tabor a little bit yesterday. They did have some update patches, but I believe they're going to have a crazy overhaul when they actually transition to the store. So we got to be on standby for that. But they are just very much like just king of the hill. They're domination right now, pure domination. Uh, with Contractor Showdown coming around, that is another game to possibly shuffle around. And sadly, like two of the best games are FPS games, I think, in my opinion, for VR right now. In terms of, I would say VR, not even just on Quest, just in VR. Uh, because Ghost of War is coming to PSVR 2. When that happens, it just it's a complete monopoly when that happens. Their marketing is through the roof. They they update us currently. Every update, every patch, they're constantly in the know of the community. They have a massive Discord server that where they're just constantly rolling. And it's like way, it's definitely not as toxic as probably Contractors is. <laughs> uh, contractors does have a pretty like toxic fan base because they're exactly like Call of Duty to the extent. But it is a massive game. Like it's a it's a great that's far more competitive in my opinion than ghost of the boy is ghost of the boy seems more like the social experience so if you're newer to vr i would say grab onto ghost of the boy because they just uh it's a lot more to do in terms of depth it's not i mean you're obviously going to get people that are massive veterans and have been putting hours into these wipes into these grinds and they know this escape from Targov essential and and crafting and doing things in survival games extraction type games and also pvp pve but you also like look to the opposite side of contractor showdown this is a massive competitive game too so it, it just depends on your flavor but ghosts what they do really well is all of that including a social experience for like your lobbies to just be like kind of more friendly more chill being able to go meet up with people on deck and i know people that really stream this game uh are having a great time with their viewers because they're able to bring their community along with them and and, and rotate stuff like that so ghost has always been really legendary for that and them coming to the quest store also helps out a lot i'm pretty sure once they get that overhaul for quest they're gonna see how that rolls and I, i'm like more than like i don't even know bro there's a short amount of time i think they're gonna be on psvr2 next but what they do is just again it's incredible they have full-on countdowns their marketing is is insane man again i hate to say that only vr the only vr games that i feel are dominating right now are fps games but like contractors and ghost of tabor are the only ones and it's i'm not even like a massive fps fan like all day and night like i literally play like tekken and mortal kombat right now <laughs> like i haven't even been playing too much Warzone. you know what i mean and i, I don't want to like glaze and over hype all of this aspect but they are just like clearly with analytics backed by everything like what they are doing is is next level bro uh, vr literally is a snooze fest right now apple vision pro everybody's trying to like use that and then compare it back to quest but you can't compare quest to apple vision pro it's different price tags it's different tech communities it's different apple is just gonna always get apple people if anyone owns an iPhone, they most likely already want to go get an Apple Vision Pro just due to the name alone. Again, they have their own cult community. And so that's why the iPhone versus Android has always been a thing, right? It's just always that partial essential of tech that Apple is involved in creating. They always have their own community. And so with VR, there is no one that's going to really mainstream a actual headset other than Apple Vision Pro. And... It sucks because, again, like they are XR. So that's all that's been popping really in VR aside from these games. Unless you're completely new to VR, then I highly recommend trying all the experiences. Try the, try the mixed reality games. Try the mixed reality experiences. Try the hand tracking experience. Try even simple games like Beat Saber just to see the environment of VR. Try Asgard's Wrath. Try Resident Evil 4. Try all of these if you're new to Quest. And then if you want to take your advancement to a next level VR experience in terms of gaming, at least for gaming for now, because Quest definitely is heavily focused on gaming right now. <laughs> they do have features, but they will always be heavily focused on gaming, at least for now, because it's far more affordable and it's easier for the hardware on the hardware to be able to do this stuff. Like they struggled with something like Asgard's Wrath 2 at launch, so at least they fixed it. If you're if you're if you want to take that experience to the next level, Ghost of Tabor and Contractors will always hold that throne for the utmost maximized VR experience where it'll keep you wanting to come back for more. Uh, Contractors Showdown is in their closed beta now and Ghost of Tabor has been in beta for the full time and these games are still both the best games. These are not even full releases yet. 
it goes to the board, gets their release in a few days, and contractors will have their release. I, I don't know if it's later this month or if not, just later, like towards the summer. Either way, that is the echelon of like how you would want to experience VR just for now. And it's weird that it's both FPS games, but goes to the board continuously as VR game of the year. As somebody who just knows what the audience wants when it comes to trailers, marketing, immersion, what's going down, depth of a VR game. If you're going to be stuck in a VR headset, I highly recommend Ghost of Boar. Either way, leave your thoughts. I appreciate you so much. Yeah, Ghost of Boar. I'll be having a, another video on that official release, so I appreciate y'all so much, man. Have a good one. Peace.